But we begin with that doctor who disappeared after accusations that he had sex in an exam room. One of those alleged encounters was caught on camera. The video is graphic, it's disturbing, and it's only on two. We first showed this video to you back in December. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum broke the story, and he's joining us live downtown now with a search for this doctor. Joel. Guys, I really think the million dollar question tonight is, is this doctor, if not in Texas, practicing somewhere else? Certainly a lot of people want to find him. Channel 2 investigates first exposed Dr. Thomas Taylor's sexual exploits at the office in December. A civil lawsuit accompanied this X-rated video shot by a patient. Your contention is this doctor is trading drugs for sex. Well, there's no question that that's what I'm saying happened here. Hi, Dr. Taylor. Mind if we talk to you for just a second, sir? Dr. Taylor, a man who claimed to be the academic chief of surgery at St. Joseph Hospital in downtown Houston, wasn't interested in answering our questions. And now Channel 2 Investigates has learned attempts to serve Taylor with a civil lawsuit have been unsuccessful, according to a court document we obtained. Quote, front desk states that defendant is out indefinitely. He believes defendant is out of the country. In fact, Wednesday, we didn't find the doctor at his Houston home, and his name has now been stripped off his office door. What's less clear is if the doctor whose license has been suspended in Texas would be allowed to practice medicine in other states or other countries. Taylor hails from England. So here's how the Texas Medical Board put it tonight. We would only have jurisdiction over his Texas license. It's possible another jurisdiction could take action based on another state's actions. And we do want to be clear tonight, the doctor has not been charged with a crime in Texas. We're live downtown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.